and we will be discussing something about um, the uh, polysomnogram uh, after the clinical assessment. Clinical assessment is the hallmark of diagnosis. A poly polysomnography, polysomnography, a polysomnography physiological monitoring of a number of parameters, electroencephalogram, electrooculogram, uh, electrocardiogram, electromyogram, snore volume, nasal and oral airflow, thoracic and abdominal respiratory effort, pulse oximetry, and body, body positioning. These are the parameters. These are measured in level four uh, polysomnography. There are home polysomnographies, uh, level um, uh, three, uh, level one polysomnography, all the uh, parameters are measured. So here I'll show you uh, one uh, video how polysomnography is done. Uh, so we people, ENT specialists sometimes send people for doing a polysomnography, but this is a very short video of two minutes. To, uh, you can see how a polysomnography is done in a lab. This is a lab. This is how a technician uh, is going to uh, uh, place the tubes uh, and electrodes in different positions of the body. See how he monitors while someone uh, looking. Very short video you can see. This is a main uh, machine which is put on the uh, chest. And it is connected. There is a chip inside of that, and this can be. It is connected uh, with the mm, computer, and patient is asked to sleep. And these patients usually have sleep disturbance, so they can easily go uh, into sleep when uh, they are monitoring and they are put to sleep on the uh, uh, the sleep lab. This is a real recording. Apnea association. This is episodes of hyperapnea and hypoxemia. Episodes of hypoxemia and hypercapnia. If the, there is apnea and there is no dropping of the oxygen saturation in the body, this is not an apnea. Because in apnea will be considered cessation of air flow when associated with there is uh, desaturation of oxygen. And in mild patient, normal it is 97 to 100 percent. 97 to 98 percent, or it can be 100 percent. In mild patient, oxyhemoglobin dissolution drop, drops to 95 percent, and in severe cases, drops below 80 percent. This is the our uh, leveling of uh, what is the level of uh, oxygen saturation. Sleep uh, in EEG. In EEG, uh, this is the arousal curve. This is the arousal curve. When the, or someone is passing through the uh, easy. This is easy. Is recorded in this uh, uh, machine, and this uh, erosal curve. We can see how many times is. Uh, but all these events are not sensed by the patient. All these events are not sensed by the patient. Electrooculogram. The electrooculogram. Uh, what shows? Electrooculogram shows uh, the uh, 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 rapid eye movements. 
the referee type movements are uh, shown. Referee type movements indicate the patient's sleep is so light that he is almost awake. And this, when this corresponds with easy event, uh, we consider this uh, as uh, awake. Scoring respiratory events, obstructive sleep apnea. Here, I will uh, show very gross things to understand all of our colleagues that how we will read this uh, sleep apnea re uh, report. And when someone look at that, it, is, it becomes very difficult to uh, understand. Really, it is very simple. If you concentrate it and give a few minutes uh, towards the uh, graph. This we are, uh, we'll be going to diagnose obstructive apnea, sleep, uh, central apnea and mixed apnea and hypoapnea. Obstructive apnea, 90% or greater decrease of air flow, at least 10 <coughs> despite effort to breathe. In this is electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG. Here it is the air flow record. Here we can see this is effort and this is no flow, air flow. And in thoracic effort, the uh, abdomen is moving. This is the nasal air flow and this is the thorax movement. This is the abdominal movement and oxygen saturation is going down. This is simplified and I'll show you in uh, the graph. This is the, this is the uh, picture of obstructive sleep apnea where there is no air flow with thoracic movement and abdominal movement. This is the gross thing to understand. In central apnea, there is no abdominal movement, no air flow to the nose, no thoracic effort, no abdominal effort. In the graph, when you see there is no effort, no air flow, no abdominal effort, thoracic effort, no abdominal effort movement. This is central apnea. In mixed apnea, there is, to begin with, there is no air flow, but no air flow continues. But in thoracic effort, uh, in initially it is uh, some thoracic effort, but there is no abdominal effort uh, also, but in uh, there is no air flow. Uh, air flow. In the, uh, primarily, there is no air flow, but initially this, this part is central apnea, this is obstructive apnea. In obstructive apnea, there is thoracic effort, there is abdominal effort, but there is no air flow. Hypoapnea, there is minimum air flow, minimum thoracic effort, minimum abdominal effort, but there is oxygen desaturation. The oxygen curve is going down. This is the hypoapnea. Very simple. But when we look at this, graph and subsequent graphs. We have to look inside and we have to find these things out uh, for simplified way. There are more simple uh, things. This is the, this is the uh, graph which the, uh, usually uh, is supplied and we have to see the air flow. We have to see the air flow. There is no air flow. There is abdominal effort. There is respiratory effort. We have to uh, follow. These are the uh, phases when there is no air flow. This also the same thing indicates and we have to go for muscular movement, uh, the limb movements and the, uh, we have 